All right, looks like you guys can see my screen. I am in the Admin Center, so hopefully this looks familiar to all of you. Uh, go to the Admin Center. We're going to go to Objects and Rules, and we're going to go to Triggers. Now, um, you may have a trigger that already exists that you can update with these AI predictions, right? Adding uh, intent or sentiment or language as a condition to an existing trigger. So you can use that to update an existing trigger. But for the purpose of this demo, I know I don't have a warranty trigger um, and I'm just gonna create one here. All right. And we're an organized organization, so we're gonna put it under the category of auto reply. So if I ever need to go back, I can just go to the auto reply category. And we're gonna start adding conditions here. So we're gonna say for any ticket that is new, and for, uh, we wanna make sure that the role is an end user and adding that intent. So ticket intent is, what is the warranty policy? So that automatically populates, which is great. And we wanna make sure that the confidence level is high. So we're certain, oops, wrong one. Awesome. So just an overview here, what we're saying is any new tickets from an end user that are regarding the warranty policy, and we're for sure that confident in this intent, we are going to do the following action, which is to send an auto reply. And for the purpose of the demo, I've already typed it out Put it here. All right. So you can see that automatically we're going to send this response to the end user saying, hey, here's a link to a Help Center article, right? That talks about our warranty policy. The best practice I wanna call out here is it's always good that in an auto reply, you just note that this was an automated response um, and that if someone needs further assistance to respond to this email, I think it's just great to be transparent. Um, and then you'll just create the trigger. And voila, there you go.